Hello, this LP3 training video is for how to take an application in LP3. To make a loan in LP3 is a two-step process. You click on Create an Account. When you click on Create Account, it takes you to the loan application. You have to fill up minimal the items in red, so first name, last name, social security, birth date, street number, street name, city, state, zip, country. Fill out those minimal items and it allows you to then save the application. Keep in mind that unless you save the application, if you enter the entire application, you have not clicked the save button. Nothing is saved yet in the application. So if you enter the items in red minimum, you can save the application. That's also the minimal items for pulling a credit bureau. Take a look up here on the left, the top left, Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, and Teletrack. Whichever credit bureau you're signed up with, we will enter those criteria in the configuration section of the software, and it'll allow you to pull the report through that particular bureau. Take a look at uh, some of the options for the application, the amount they request, uh, application type, whether it's in-store, mail, phone, uh, source to keep track of uh, where the uh, customer came from, if you did an advertisement, uh, whether they're a referral online, uh, some additional info there, uh, purpose of the loan, if you want to take that, uh, loan type, this, uh, most of them will be a installment loan. You have a title information for the person, first name, middle name, last name, marital status, maiden name, social security number, birth date, driver's license, uh, state issued, a second account number, and, and dependent information, uh, contact information, home phone, cell, work, personal email, work email, then bank information, bank name, phone number, routing number, account number, account type, and you have cosigner information, name, middle, last, cosigner social security number, birth date, driver's license, and phone number. And then you have the current address information for the applicant, uh, which is street number, name, type, apartment number, if, if uh, that's part of it, and uh, city, state, zip, country, months live there, do they rent or own, uh, landlord contact information, and What's on this application, you may or may not use all of the fields. We just have this here to uh, facilitate uh, if you do capture this particular information. So you have previous address information if they if they didn't live at the current address long enough. And then uh, employer information, position, company name, contact address, city, state, phone number, the length of years and months, and the status of employment, and then their salary net. Uh, payment uh, frequency. So let's say they make uh, $2,000 a month and then they're paid monthly just uh, to make it simple. Pay the payment type and previous employer if they haven't been at this employment long enough. And then we have a cosigner employer. If there's a cosigner, we want to grab the information for them. We also, uh, down at the bother, bottom, other income. So if there's another source of income you'd like to capture for them. And then automobile information. If you're going to capture the automobile, make, year, color, license, lien holder balance, and, and payments. So here, uh, income, expense totals. You could put monthly rent. Say it's 400 And you'll notice as you start to enter the expenses, it will take the net amounts and then start to subtract those expenses so that you can see how much money is left in here in expense income ratio. It allows you to make sure that they're uh, going to make enough to uh, facilitate paying back the loan. You want to make sure that you uh, don't set somebody up for failure. So this will kind of add those numbers automatically for you from the amount of income through the amount of expenses and it'll tell you what's left. You have a section here for references, name, relation, phone number, and address. 
and then some miscellaneous in, info, uh, whether or not they're a previous customer, any payroll garnishments, uh, FICO score, number of uh, active loans previously, and then uh, some other information there that you want to capture. So keep in mind that as you enter this information, it's a good idea to click save periodically. If you're entering quite a bit of information and it might take a while, please make sure you save the application um, numerous times just so you don't lose anything. In case you forget what you're doing, you click off the page, it will not be saved. Some options after you finish the application, one was of course to save it. You can then uh, pull a report, pull the credit bureau report. You can view the, the pulled report. You can put some additional comments on the application. You can print the application. Of course, save, save and exit. So you can save what you have and exit out of the application. You can create your ECOA, which is your Equal Credit Opportunity Act, your credit denial letter. So say you took an application and you pulled a credit report and you viewed the report and they have a lot of debt, they didn't pay other people back and you've decided you will not lend to this customer, then you can create your ECO letter from, from this application screen also. And then from the application screen, it's a two-step process to create the loan. So first you create the application. So I said before, minimal items in red. And then you can click on create account to then create the loan side of the um, two-step process to create a customer and a, uh, application and then loan. If you want to reset everything, you can click clear. It'll reset all the information. And then additionally, um, there is help for it on our training website, training.smallloansoftware.com. You can go over some stuff here and other parts of the software. So this is the customer application. If you have created an application and saved it and then exited, in order to find that application, you would come over here to credit application and then app search. And then you could search here for the application. There's a start and end date, social security number search for the application. If uh, you've pulled a credit bureau on, on the customer, then that will be available to take a look at. Um, if you have not made a loan yet and it's just an application, you'll have the option to make loan from this screen. If the loan is grayed out, then it was the loan was made or it was uh, um, it was chosen not to make the loan for that person. So you can, of course, go to create an application through create account. If you've already created it and saved it, you can look it up through uh, credit app and app search. And that is how to take an application in LP3. Thank you very much.